Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we will create a new hire introduction video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The people who join our businesses need to be welcomed and introduced, both to the existing team as well as to customers. Doodly offers a creative way to do this. Not only does a new hire video introduce your new employee, but it also helps to reinforce your company's culture. To get started, you'll need a script. And ideally, you'll want to get your new hire involved in this process. For example, here's mine. As you can see, my new hire, Charlie, was involved in writing the script for her intro video, and she will be doing part of the voiceover. I do have some graphics that I found that you know I might use. Keep in mind, Charlie is not a real person. This is fictional, so these are stock photos. Since Charlie is fictional, I have used Takia to create her portion. In real life, you'd probably ask the new hire to send you a voiceover recording. Since I'm planning on having two voices in this video, I went ahead and created the three separate files for Charlie's lines, which are right here these voiceover one, two, and three, and then four separate files for the narrator, which I went ahead and voiced myself. With multiple audio files, it can get confusing, so be sure to name your files in a way that makes sense. In my example today, I'm using the following naming convention, NH for new hire, and then my new hire's name, so C. Jones, Charlie Jones, and then who's speaking. So for the narrator, I just named it narrator one, two, three, and four. And then for Charlie's voiceover, I just went with the generic voiceover one, two, and three. So let's start importing. Okay, so I have all of these here and we're going to doodly and we're just gonna go over here to our sounds tab, the little blue and white plus sign. And then we're just gonna drag and drop all of these files into this little spot and click continue. Okay, so you can see that they are uploaded. Let's do our graphics. So go over to props. We're going to do the same thing. And you're going to browse for your file or drag and drop them. I have a series of images here. I may or may not use them all, but you'll notice I did the same thing with the naming convention. So new hire, C. Jones, and then whatever the image is. Okay, so these are all uploaded. Now, one of the advantages of the naming convention is, is when you do your search. So N-H-C Jones is only going to show me those, okay? So it just makes it a little handy when you're working with a project to have all of your project graphics and sounds and whatever it is that you've imported have that same naming convention because then you can just find them super easy. So now that we have everything imported into Doodly, it's time to start building. Now you can do either the images first or the audio first, whatever works for you. I find audio is kind of helpful because it helps with the timing. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to look at my script real quick and the narrator goes first. So I'm looking for narrator one. So here we are, narrator one. I'm just going to drag and drop that into my timeline. Okay, so narrator one. I think I'm going to add a separate track. So click here on those dots, click add track. And then this adds a new blank track here. So now I want Charlie Jones voiceover one. And instead of putting it right there, I'm going to put it in its own track. Okay, so this top one is narrator, bottom one is Charlie. So now I need narrator two. And then Charlie 2, so voiceover 2. It's going to go in its own. Move it down a little. So now we know it's going to be a little over a minute and a half long, and that'll be fine. Now, one of the advantages of doing the voiceover this way with these individual files is you can move everything around. So you know, it looks like I have kind of a long gap here. So if I want it, I could just bump this down, okay? So we can play with that in a few minutes. I am going to just hover over here and get rid of that dead air. You know, it sounds like maybe, it looks like maybe there's a little bit of background noise. And then maybe we'll 
doing this over here. So and then you can just tighten up everything. So if we go back to props, we're going to need to add the logo. You'll see this is an animated GIF or GIF if you prefer. And Doodly does support animated GIF files, so that's kind of cool. And it's treated just like any other photograph, right? So I just did the same thing. I went to props and the blue plus sign, and now it's uploading it to the server. Let's go ahead and just preview this scene how I have it right now, just so you can see the animated logo, because right now we're just seeing the first frame of it. So let's go ahead and hit preview. Welcome to the team. Welcome to Acme Inc. We are excited to introduce okay. you to our new head of marketing, Charlie Jones. Hi everyone, my name is Ch Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea. It's a mess right now, but that's what the animated logo is gonna look like. So I'm gonna do a little housekeeping here. I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna turn erase mode from smart mode to off. That way he will not erase the white before this appears. And then I just want this to fade on. I don't really want the hand scribbling it on. So over here in reveal mode, choose fade, save and return. And I got here just by clicking this little pencil icon. Three seconds fading on is the default. It's way too long. I don't need it to be stuck on that first frame for three seconds. So I'm gonna do a half second fade, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing to this little name tag. I imported this. I'm just gonna have it fade on. And I want it to be real short too. And I think this is fine with the character. I just picked a character from over here. I typed in business and I found a character that looked similar to the image that I'm gonna be using for Charlie. So let's just take a look how it's coming. Welcome to Acme Inc. We are excited to introduce you to our new head of marketing. And I like that just fine. That's not the image that I was gonna use, but I do like it. So now I'm gonna move the voice for Charlie down just a touch. I'm gonna to add a new scene and I'm going to check the props and this is Charlie Jones. So I do want her in here. So we'll put that there. I have a frame. So let me type in frame. I'm gonna put this behind Charlie. So I imported this frame and now I want to do some drawing paths. So bear with me while I create the drawing paths real quick. Okay, so those are drawn and then let's have Charlie fade on. And again, the fade needs to be pretty quick. And let's just see what this is looking like real quick. Hey everyone, my name is Charlie Jones and I'm thrilled to be the new head of And that's good. We're going to go ahead and group these by control or command clicking. So now we can move these. And then let's type in her name. Charlie Jones. Acme Inc. It's incredibly exciting to join a company that is known for innovation and progress. Acme Inc. is committed to staying. So that's fine. Now I think I'm going to move this down a little, give it a little breathing room. And then let's add our new scene. I don't want, I don't want this much breathing room. So let's shorten this scene here. Should have four seconds. Let's go three seconds. And that's that's better. So let's transition over here and let's go back and copy and paste our logo. And this way it already remembers the fade and everything because they copied and pasted it. And then we want, maybe, let's maybe bring in some of these other graphics here. Staying ahead of the trends. So we can add some graphics here to illustrate that. So I just typed in trend. Let's just use this one. This is a stock one. Acme Inc. is committed to staying ahead of the trends and to constantly pushing the boundaries to make the world a better place. Sometimes what I like to do is take an image to cover everything. 
like this. This is an enterprise graphic. It's just one of their dotted rectangles or dashed rectangles. It's good for coupons and whatnot, but it's also good for quotes. Something like that. And it's okay if you have stuff showing underneath, that's fine. And then now we're just gonna go ahead and add our mission statement. Again, timing, one second to draw the square, the rectangle is fine. Um, we need a little more time to draw on the actual mission statement. We want some time at the end of the scene, about two seconds is usually good. And let's just take a quick preview there. Acme Inc. is committed to staying ahead of the trends and to constantly pushing the boundaries to make the world a better place. Our mission is to innovate in order to create products and solutions that improve the lives of people everywhere. I am confident that- Okay, I think that's good. I think maybe we'll slow this down by another second. And then we need to move her voice down because we don't want her coming in right away, okay? So we want a little time for people to kind of absorb, okay, what that mission is. And again, this is why I like doing the voiceover in little chunks like this because I can move them around so much easier than if I had just put them all together in one timeline, in one recording, it would be a little harder to deal with the timing. Okay, so she's talking about teamwork and whatnot. So let's do a couple photos here and then let's do character. So this is a character I used, Inu. If we wanted to bring her back in, that might be kind of fun. And then let's just see what kind of marketing things are in here already. So let's see how that's panning out. There. I am confident that my years of experience in marketing will contribute to realizing Acme's mission through innovative and creative marketing campaigns. With my team's efforts, we'll continue to expand our company and drive growth through effective marketing strategies. Okay, that's perfect. So now the narrator's gonna come in and say whatever it is the narrator's gonna say. So let's slide this down. Okay, so maybe we'll do a little blurb here. And a lot of these things, just be open to whatever pops into your mind. Like I had no concept that I'd want a little line here saying driving Acme Inc. to new heights with her pointing at that. that just came into my head now and I think it, it works so it's okay I think we're gonna do that and we will add a new scene because remember we want to bring in our logo Charlie speaks as a screen transitions to Acme Inc website and contact information okay so let's go ahead and create that new scene go to props and I have this little browser window so that will work. Some text. And this little scene is, is a little self-promotion here for the website and the company. And we'll put some contact information. So not only are we introducing our new head of marketing to our customers, we're also giving them a reason, hey, come back over here, come check out our website, whatever it is we want them to do, okay? So there's a little bit of a marketing aspect to it. Okay, and then the final thing we want to do is add some music. So we're just at under a minute and a half. Let's go to the Sounds tab. And if you click Category Music, that'll only show the music tracks. And then you can go through and listen until you find one that you like. I'm going to choose Finding Millions and I'm going to add another track and I'm just going to place it down here at the beginning. Because I do have some voiceovers, this soundtrack as is, is just going to blast and you won't be able to hear them very well. So let's just take a listen real quick and you'll see. Welcome to Acme Inc. We are excited to introduce you to our new head of market. Okay, so see how that music's too loud and it hasn't even built to the loud part. <laughs> so what we want to do, click the little speaker icon here and let's turn this music down. I like to go down to like 12%, 10%, right in there. Well, now let's listen. Welcome to Acme Inc. We are excited okay. to introduce you to our new head of marketing, Charlie John. Let's go down to the end. And 
you'll notice my music's just a touch too long. So we could either make this slightly longer, which is fine. Not a big deal to have this contact information staying on the screen a little longer. Your other option would be you could slide this down to wherever you want it to end and then right click and choose fade out so that the music fades out at that point. So I'm actually fine with it being that one and a half minutes long is fine. That is it. Let's take one quick look and then we'll be done. Welcome to Acme Inc. We are excited to introduce you to our new head of marketing, Charlie Jones. Hi everyone, my name is Charlie Jones and I'm thrilled to be the new head of marketing at Acme Inc. It's incredibly exciting to join a company that is known for innovation and progress. Acme Inc. is committed to staying ahead of the trends and to constantly pushing the boundaries to make the world a better place. Our mission is to innovate in order to create products and solutions that improve the lives of people everywhere. I am confident that my years of experience in marketing will contribute to realizing Acme's mission through innovative and creative marketing campaigns. With my team's efforts, we'll continue to expand our company and drive growth through effective marketing strategies. At Acme Inc., we value collaboration, creativity, and innovation. We are excited to have Charlie leading our marketing efforts as we work towards our goals. Her experience and expertise will drive Acme Inc. to new heights. Thank you for this opportunity, Acme Inc. I'm excited to create and deliver exciting marketing content alongside such a talented team. If you have any ideas or suggestions, my door is always open. Let's work together to create the future. Welcome aboard, Charlie. Let's create a better future together. And there you have it. That's how you can use Doodly to create a new hire introduction video. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.